Well, today is a beautiful day. It's nice and cool outside. I have like three layers on. <laughs> um, it's like 60, so to those who have harsh winters, it's a sunny, bright day for you guys, but for us, it's a bit chilly. Oh, I decided to face my fears, because that's life, and come out for my morning stroll. It was pretty dark when I first started, but obviously the sun has come out, and I've been out for about 30 minutes. Um, there's just something about the fresh air and the, I don't know, newness of a morning that gets me a bit rejuvenated. So um, I did meet quite a few people who walk, so that's really great because I recognize some of them. And um, it's kind of nice to know, like, there are people out. And I walked on the main street. This is my road back to my apartment complex, but um, on the main street, people are definitely driving by, so hopefully if something weird happened, they would notice, <laughs> but I don't know. Um, looks like that grass is really dead. It's kind of yucky, but I think I will get Mr. Smokey today. That way he can come out and get some exercise as well. But I don't know, because I still have to unpack a bunch of those boxes in the living room. Yep, they're still there. And it's weird when it's not your stuff, because you're not quite sure what to do with it. I'm like, this looks like garbage. And I'm really terrible, because it's like, if I haven't used something in a while, let's just get rid of it. But men are not like that. They want to keep things they've had for 50 years. So I just try to figure it all out. I guess I should do that before I actually get Mr. Smokey back so he has room to stretch out. All right, well, I will let you go. I'm almost back to the little homestead. So have a great morning. I will chat with you soon. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. So I am doing my exchange right now. I am so tired. I look like a train wreck because I just finished working out. And it was hard. That was really hard. Look at my Cheetos back there. <laughs> the camera never lost. I usually try to work out in the mornings, but things have just been crazy lately, so I haven't been able to. And I don't know, man. This one was hard. I, I did have a moment where I thought I might stop, um, but I pushed through that because working out tends to be mind over matter. And yeah, your body's really tired, and then your mind starts thinking about why you're tired, how you're tired, you're going to be more tired, and all the excuses. And so it can kind of be like bad if you listen to your mind sometimes because it tries to talk you out of doing what is really good for you. So I did my RPM, and I'm um, sorry, I'm so thirsty. <laughs> Today's not a hot day. Today's actually really great. I think I might do laundry later because it looks like it's going to be rainy. I think I've drinking like three of these now. And um, I did my RPM with Les Mills, which if you don't know already, Les Mills is a company out of New Zealand and you can stream it on your Roku. And it's $100 a year and it's worth every penny because it has so many different things you can do. So there was a point in my workout where I was like, I didn't want to continue on. And that can happen because your body is literally desperate to stop. But that's where you practice like mind over matter and you just do it anyways. Um, a couple of things that I do is I try not to watch the time. Um, my bike is almost against my sliding glass door so I can look outside and be distracted with the breeze and the clouds and my plants. Um, that way I'm not focused on how much longer is this workout. And the workout is a good 45 minutes um, with the cool down and everything. So it is a really good amount of time to be working out. But it's funny how your mind can tell you to stop. And I don't know where that balance is because you don't want to have a heart attack. But a lot of times you want to quit and start making excuses before you've actually seen what you might be able to do. So that was me today. 
um, Mondays are usually my like, it's a fresh week. Let's just work out. Uh, I got distracted this morning, so I didn't get um, my workout done in the mornings like I like to. So it's kind of tough in this afternoon time, but I did it anyways. And then Tuesdays come and because I, I go to breakfast with Linda most of the times, a lot of time, I don't have time to work out until later on in the day, but then I'm also going to go live stream. And so I don't need, I don't want to get all sweaty and redo my makeup again. That's my excuses for Tuesday. Although I do know that Les Mills has a stretch program or a yoga and that doesn't cause a lot of sweat. So I'm thinking that I need to go back to doing that on Tuesdays so that Mondays when I do like more of a cardio workout on Tuesdays, I'll have my stretching time. <laughs> and then Wednesdays used to be my chill day. Like on Wednesdays, all during COVID and beyond, would always be the middle of the week. So you just chill. You like, don't do anything. I wouldn't put on makeup. I wouldn't go anywhere. I wouldn't make appointments that day. Um, I literally took that day to rest. Well, that's not the case anymore. But in my mind, I'm like, well, I could rest today because I did work out two days in a row now. Or I could work out and then make Thursday my rest day because Thursdays now have become that. Except that if I rest on Wednesday, sometimes I want to rest on Thursday too. <laughs> and then by Friday, it's like, oh my gosh, I only worked out twice this week or sometimes once. I have to work out. See the stress I put myself under on working out? It's just, it's just, it's a lot. It's too much. So what I need to focus in on is I worked out this week instead of like, what did I not accomplish? What did I accomplish? And that, that sometimes tends to help a little bit more especially when things kind of start to go awry. <laughs> I have a really big catastrophe in the living room kitchen area because Donnie has officially brought over the rest of his stuff that was being kept at his son's house. And so my place is now more our place, but I don't know where to put all the stuff. At. <laughs> now, granted, he did go through quite a few of his things and he purged, which you usually do when you move. But for a guy to do that, that's pretty unusual. But he really did purge a lot, um, kind of like a fresh start. And that's what I like about moving is it is kind of a fresh start. You just get rid of what you haven't even used. And I'm like, why do I hang on to this? You know, so I'm tempted to just throw everything away. Not his, but my stuff. Um, but I'm not going to, <laughs> but I'm like, you, we, there's only just so much space. Thankfully we have an outside closet that if I repack a lot of the stuff or even pack up some of the stuff that we don't really use here, but we want to use, <laughs> I don't know. It's hard. You know what I'm talking about? Like, um, I think when you move into a big house or a normal size house, you have so much more space, so much more kitchen cupboards. And this man likes to cook and he likes to get the items to cook with. I am happy with like three plates and three cups and three spoons. Like I, I really like to be downsized in minimalism, um, except when it comes to my clothes and cool costumey things. Uh, so my closet is a different story, but the man likes to have <laughs> so many things and and it's very cute i don't want to like dismiss his belongings or his ideas because that's not healthy um but thankfully we're able to talk through things like i don't really deep fry anything so let's put this up in the cupboard that we don't really need to get into uh except for maybe special occasions and then <laughs> That way we can use the other spaces for things that we use all the time. So it's interesting, you know, I mean, he's lived here almost a year anyways, but just not with most of his things. Um, so that's the newest thing here. I'm, I'm trying to not become overwhelmed with all that stuff back there. Um, trying to stay focused on what can I control. And that sometimes is just how life is, right? You just have to focus on you and yourself. So I did by working out really nothing too much going on. I feel good. 
Um, I feel energetic today. And I'm trying really hard not to take a nap because again, my Fitbit tells me how much deep sleep I get. And last night I got 15 minutes of deep sleep. <laughs> and so as I started to watch that, um, I told Donnie, I was like, I'm starting to realize um, how much deep sleep I don't get. So no wonder I'm so tired, but I'm trying to, and, and if I have to take a nap, I will, but I'm trying to not take naps so that maybe that can trick me into deep sleeping a little bit longer because the days that I do deep sleep at least 30 minutes, I feel so much better the next day. And truth be told, this weather makes me feel more energized because I feel like I could do more things and um, not be like so exhausted by my body trying desperately to cool down or to heat up. And we're venturing now into the season where I'm freezing again. I love it um, when I do my exchanges. So this morning after I did my first one, I was in bed for another 30 minutes like I'm so cold and it's not even like I think today's 80 I don't even know what today is but it wasn't really that cold but to me it is because I'm putting in a bag of coldness so just the way life is on dialysis all right I'm gonna let you go you have a good day and I will talk to you tomorrow